in this week's video. Oh, why is this not working? <gasps> Honda frigging jazz. Oh my god, concentrate! Sorry. Right. Right, should we set up this week's video, our challenge? Okay. If you choose to accept it, um, which you have to because it's your job. Uh, the challenge is we are going to try and identify some cars to buy um, via Car Wow and Motorway today, uh, which are in their online auction. You are going to use a laptop, an Excel, and your brain. I am going to use AI. Um, we want them to have a high auto trader retail rating and by high i'm going to say over an 85 um and after that it's sort of up to us so we should say the way that we've got to this data is we've got the auction sheet from car wow and the auction sheet but it's not well it is an auction the auction sheet from motorway and we've uploaded them into auto traders system and also traders magic system has added on uh, the retail rating for every single car, hasn't it? So and, and days to sell and market health. That's right. And the way that it that thing itself is calculated by AI, isn't it? So also try to use lots of AI to calculate their um, retail rating. So in a way, whoever does it, there is AI in this, isn't there? Yes. We have got some specific criteria, haven't we? Or you've got some spe specific criteria of what you want to buy. Yeah. You don't want the days to sell to be more than 35 days. Ish, yeah. You don't want the retail price to be over 8K because you can't do any finance and you don't think anyone's going to have 8K in cash. Uh, you want it to be part or full service history, so definitely not no service history. Definitely not. And you also want sort of grade one to four, basically not a complete shitter is what you want. Yes, basically. definitely, yes. Beyond no that, you're happy to buy anything and you just want the computer to tell you what it's going to do. Yep. So we're going to put it through ChatGPT. I, my logic with uh, putting it through a spreadsheet is these are all quite like numbersy things. I'm terrible with Excel. You are not and actually very good with it, which is why I'm going to use AI to try and help me do this and you're going to use Excel. And when we'll get to back together, see whether the same things come out, same cars, and then we'll actually try and buy them. But oh. Oh, the important thing is we need to see which one's quicker. So I'm going to time it and so are you. Let's go for it. Right. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, that's a lot of data. Um, please, can you help me, always be polite, sort through some spreadsheets to refine the data? Right. So I'm going to try and do this by filtering. Grade. So this goes grade one to five. And I want everything from one to four. They are for car auctions today, and I would like you to help me. Service history. I don't want none, and I'm happy with all those ones, so that's fine. Only like cars with a retail rating over 85 out of 100. Retail rating, 85 plus, okay. It's analyzing. It's taken a little bit of time to do it. Retail valuation, a number less than 8,000, okay. It appears there's an issue with reading the CSV file, likely due to a character encoding problem. This is a common issue with CSV files that contain characters not compatible with the standard UTF-8 encoding. I will attempt to open the file using a different encoding. Let's try using ISO 8859-1, also known as Latin 1. The file has been successfully loaded. I didn't need to know that, did I? After filtering the cars with either part or full service history, there's still several vehicles. Oh, here he is. Don't tell me he's done it already. Have you done it already? What, both of them already? Yeah. 
Okay, so I am now down to, there are now 50 cars on the list that meet all of your specified criteria. High retail rate and over 85, projected days to sell of 35 or less, a retail valuation under eight grand, and either part or full service history. So I'm getting there. I mean, it's not not doing it. Right, let me go and do the other one and I'll come back to you and we'll compare. Let's, right, I'll come back in a moment. Right. And make a coffee. So I've got the car list done. I'm pretty impressed with that. I've downloaded it now. It's there. Uh, hasn't done all of the things that I wanted it to do. Okay, please do the same process with exactly the same filters with this catalog. Uh, motorway, uploading. I mean, this is not quite as quick as John's done it, but at least it's doing it. Still analysing. Ah, after applying all the specified filters to the new auction catalogue, there are 18 cars that meet your criteria. Right, let's go and compare with John. Hello there. See, what I was going to ask you now, uh, can you help refine the list with those cars located no more than 50 miles from Crossport, Hampshire, UK? I mean, would be amazed if it can do this. Oh, I need the location data from each of the cars in the list. This could include either the address or postcode of where each car is currently located. It is in there, isn't it? Yeah, it says location. There is a field. That's what you tell it. Mark location, uh, which has the name of the town that would be clever if it could do that yeah that would be genuinely useful i mean it hasn't said no has it do you think of the all the cross referencing that would have to do with a map for everything it appears that none of the cars in the final field list are located within 50 miles of gospel house uk based on the location field of your data set this could be due to several reasons such as the absence of some entries are there any on the list within let's just ask you something stupid 500 miles of Crossport, Hampshire. See how stupid it is, UK. <laughs> what? What does that mean? What's that mean? <clears throat> I'm paying for this. Is it means it's only, is it now on strike? Has Chat GPT gone on strike? <laughs> it has, isn't it? <laughs> You're not allowed to give up work. Is it right, basically, it's, it's, it's basically said I'm having a break now. You have to come back at 2.38 p.m. Yeah, um, so it, it does do that. What? That is, that is a thing that it does do. It limits you for the number of requests per hour. Uh, well, you could hit you could hit use default model. So, so. I think you should ask ChatGPT to slim down your selection by a few criteria. Right. What I would now mm -hmm. do is go stuff up to 50,000 miles and see what it comes up with, for example. Okay, let's do that. Um, I think, do you want to leave it to each other to decide what our things are? And I think at the end of this, we should come back with five cars each that we like the look of based on the, the data. We're out of mini eggs now. How am I going to buy cars? <laughs> okay, no, that's a good plan. Let's do that. Um, ten, 10 cars each. Cool. 10 cars each in total. Let's do it. Okay. See you in a minute. Goodbye. Goodbye. So I think the first thing that's most important is, is there any money in these cars? So we've got our reserve price and we've also got the retail valuation from Auto Trader. So if they're too close together, then it's not even worth bothering. So if I... 
move those next to each other, add a column after that, and I'm going to call this margin, and I'm going to take the retail valuation and take away the reserve price, and let's see what we end up with for this lot. Okay, I'm going to knock the mileage down because I think low mileage is the way to go. So let's have less than 60,000 miles. I think sounds good. After removing the cars with over 50,000 miles from the final list, there are currently no cars remaining in the refined list. That is absolute rubbish. So I've now got 30 cars based on silver and gold, less than 8,000, less than 60,000 miles and a service history of full or partial. So I'm going to have a flick through these and see what I think is a sensible buy. After re reapplying the filter, it appears there are currently no cars remaining in the refined original list. None of the cars in the original list meet the criteria of having mileage below 50,000 miles. They do. I can see there are some. I think Duke might be a reasonable bet. He's not going to want a Corsa. I-10, I reckon that's a good bet. No previous owners. Yeah, that's getting a green from me. So I've asked it again to do the same thing I've asked it. After reapplying the filter to remove the cars and mine to 50,000 from the original list, it appears there are currently no cars remaining in the refined original list. Diesel A1. Yeah, all right. Actually, this Fiat, 19,000 miles. All four new tyres, only selling due to new tyres. Let's have that one as well. For clarity, the mileage column is F. Are you using this column? This is not winning my argument. Error analysing. I apologise for the error, it seems there was an issue with using column F for mileage. I've re-attempted the filtering process using the correct column for mileage, but it appears there are currently no cars remaining in the field list. I give up. You are shit. Hello. Hello there. How'd you get on? In a word, or right, in two words, monumental failure. Oh. Basically, ChatGPT was very mean to me, John, uh, bullied me into uh, not doing anything that I asked it to do. Uh, in a word, um, I, uh, I've given up. <laughs> End of video. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. It's Zelensky. He's Zelensky, yeah. I'm uh, off to join the front line. So, it's now Friday. After our expeditions with trying to buy cars with AI somewhat successfully, yeah. what have you actually managed to secure? Okay. So, some were successful, some weren't. Um, I'm not sure how much we touched on the Ford Fiesta, but we definitely mentioned that in last week's video. <laughs> Unfortunately, that deal has fallen through. Uh, it had been listed with full service history, and now the seller cannot find any history. So mm. gut feeling said, don't buy it, so I haven't bought it. We did have some success, though, with the bid-in. Uh, the Fiat 500 is, uh, has been secured, um, and the Nissan Duke has been secured. So I'm waiting for those documents to come through, and then I can organise delivery. Um, I also was offered a Seat Leon 1.6-litre Ecomotive um, via EV experts who took it in as a Part X. Picked it up on Thursday, yesterday. Advertised it yesterday afternoon. It's in really good condition. It's done 88,000. Just caught myself on a bush there. Took a deposit on it this morning, John. I mean, that's a new record. I mean, that is a, that is a new record. Um, and funnily enough, that is the buyer now just texting me on the, uh, on the back phone. I mean, it's been a mad week, isn't it? I mean, if you think about it, the start of the week, we didn't really have much in stock. Um, I'm handing over the Nissan Qashqai today. We've bought and sold a Seat Leon within the five days we've been doing this. Bought two other cars and lost another one. So... Mm. All part of the selling cars game, isn't it? So going back to AI for a minute, where has it helped us? Well, I was 
I was surprised at what it did at first. I mean, you've seen that I put in the spreadsheet and I got it to ask it to to uh, cut down the numbers of cars um, using my parameters. And the first things happened really quickly and it was quite successful. And then it completely and utterly failed on me. Uh, it just gave up the ghost really. And, and not only to say it couldn't do it, no matter how many times I asked it, it, it then said, I'm going on strike now and you'll have to come back in three hours time. <laughs> so yeah, boy, well, they are they are unionized the AIs. I don't know if they you... well, obviously they are, aren't they? I would like AI to actually be able to do what I asked it to. I'd like it to be able to do what we were trying to get it to do, which is cut down the number of cars every day following my parameters. But that means decent feeds from the from the auction houses. It means being able to do that on a daily basis. And at the moment, that's not possible because you have to do a lot of that process manually by uploading it to chat gpt so what i need is some expert help and i think i might have found some so next week what are we doing what are we going to do next week um well we need to get hold of the cars that we've bought and see if they're any good and get them advertised we need to probably buy some cars to replace the ones i've sold uh, or haven't won so hopefully the say Leon is sold um and the Ford Fiesta that I thought was in stock is obviously not coming in stock, so I need something to replace that. So, more of the same, John. Excellent. Let's do it. Hello, I'm James from the Clever Car Company, and I'm delighted to present to you this. It's our Seat Leon 1.6 litre Ecomotive. You see the interior is in really good condition. Really good condition. It's in good condition. Really good condition. Paintwork's in good condition. Pretty good condition. This is all in great condition. It's got full service history. It's got that cover there. You've got radio, rear sun blinds, handle. I love those. 